All right, so I'm going to be restoring a number 14 skillet made by Lodge, and this is called a three notch Lodge because there are three notches in the heat ring here. And this number 14 is unique because it has US in parentheses here. You don't see these often, and this was only put on their size 14 skillets. And this thing is massive, it'll fit a ton of food. It's about 16 inches from pour spout to pour spout. And this thing's so big, it barely fit through the opening of the drum. All right, so it's been 26 hours since I dropped the number 14 lodge in the E-Tank. The battery charger still running super strong over 10 amps. So let's unplug and take this big boy out, see what it looks like. And you can see the massive difference here. We're gonna take this upstairs, scrub it down, see what it really looks like. All right, it's out of the E-Tank and scrubbed down, and definitely a big difference. That carbon buildup definitely faded and scrubbed off a bunch, but still some remains. Cooking surface looks solid. Uh, still some discoloration though. Um, where we're gonna need the vinegar bath for that for sure. So I could put this in the E-Tank for the next few days to try and get rid of this, but I'm going to go a different route. I'm gonna put it in my lye bath for about five days. Uh, I'm, I have a long weekend getaway, um, so I'm gonna drop it in there, check it out in five days. Um, and after that, it is what it is with the carbon buildup. Hopefully more is gone. A lot of people would just start to season it from here, but uh, I'm not happy with it just yet. We're going to get this down as much as possible. Once it's out of the lye, I'm going to put it back in the vinegar bath for a few rounds. Really get that discoloration off of the cooking surface to have this thing looking as best as possible. Again, I don't like cut corners and uh, seasoning a piece before it's truly ready. Now, hopefully this bin is big enough. I recommend wearing gloves for this, but there we go. Perfect. Fit in there, completely submerged. We're gonna let this sit in, like I just said, for five days and we'll check in on it. All right, the skillet's been in the live bath for three days. Let's take it out. I could find the damn handle. All right, let's take this upstairs, scrub it down, see what it really looks like. So the live bath helped a little bit. You can still see some remaining I guess what you could call carbon buildup, uh, but overall it looks pretty good. To finish this off, I'm gonna put this back in the vinegar bath for you know anywhere between one to three rounds um, to get rid of any of this discoloration that's left here on the bottom and a little bit on the cooking surface. So I'm gonna drop this back in, uh, scrub it out, see how many rounds it needs. I put this skillet through another three rounds in the vinegar bath, scrubbing in between. It's now oiled up and ready to go in the oven for the first round of seasoning. The goal is to put it through four rounds. So after five rounds of seasoning, the skillet looks fantastic. You can see some discoloration here on the cooking surface, really on the side walls. That's from rust and the bottom looks great too. There is some pitting here from rust and we have these little lines here that are the sand shifts which are really just like casting flaws when this thing was made and this is another great restoration i love doing big pieces like this you can see the size of this number 14 compared to my hand cooks a lot of food and i really do love old antique and vintage lodge cast iron 